What's up guys, Riley here from RP Productions and today I'm going to be reviewing this Tesla Model S P90D. So for those of you that don't know, I believe that this Tesla, the P90D, is the absolute fastest Tesla ever produced. The horsepower is like 762 and I believe the torque is somewhere in the 730 range. So this car right here is absolutely no slouch, um, you know, just an absolute incredible machine and technology has just gotten to the point where it's just so insane and it's just it's freakishly weird how cars can go this fast by just being uh, powered off of batteries and batteries alone um, so today i have the lucky privilege of being able to review this car this was a completely unexpected i don't have a ton of time with the car but i will do my absolute best uh, to give you guys the uh, my, my uh, honest reaction to uh, driving this thing for the very first time so i'm super excited to drive it no idea what to expect so let's go ahead and get started all right guys, so I don't have a lot of time in this car, but I'm gonna take advantage of what I do have um, and try to give you guys, you know, best first reaction type video. So put your foot on the brake, knock this little thingy down into drive, and away we go. So uh, this is definitely the first electric car I've ever driven. Obviously the first electric car here on the channel. Um, right off the bat, you know, you step in here and you just notice that there's te technology and luxury everywhere. I mean, it's just incredible what they've kind of put in this package um, and it's just, it's insane. I honestly can't believe I'm sitting here reviewing a Tesla right now, but I am. So really, first, right off the bat, you notice that the brakes are, um, they're the regenerative braking. Basically, they uh, take the power that you would use while braking and then send it back to the batteries and it kind of increases your battery life. And you notice right off the bat that you really don't have to use the brake very much in this car, uh, at least at slow speeds, because it kind of does it for you. So aside from the braking, pretty much doing the braking on its own, really driving this car is extremely easy to do, you know, stepping in it just from a normal, you know, vehicle. Um, the braking thing is still really weird to me. It's, I feel like I should be braking, but I'm not. Um, and it's just kind of doing it for me. Um, but you know, the ride's incredibly quiet. I mean, obviously there's no exhaust note in here. So it's kind of weird, you know, you're accelerating, you don't hear anything. You just kind of hear a little hum of some electric engines doing their thing. But it's just, it's a really weird feeling driving this. And I mean, if this is where the future goes, then I'm all for it. All right, so setting off in the Tesla, um, taking this nice little uh, easy turn, I guess. Um, you notice that for being almost 5,000 pounds, the body roll really isn't too bad. They uh, Tesla does a really good job of masking that. Uh, the steering is a little bit on the light side, but it's still very responsive and you get a ton of feedback from the road and every steering input, you know, you're doing something, but it is kind of on the light side, except for when you're driving straight. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like a progressive uh, steering system. Um, you know, everywhere is really good. Visibility out front, you have a giant window. It's totally fine. Vis visibility out the back, not the absolute best, but it's not a problem. Um, there's a lot of cars that are way worse, but um, you know, could be a little bit better. Um, side visibility, perfect. Um, you know, driving it, it feels just like a normal car. It's um, you know, like I said, I just hopped in this from a normal car and I'm at, right at home. It just feels like you're driving a normal car that kind of breaks for itself. All right, well, everybody wants to see this. Let's try this zero to 60 out. <laughs> what? what the heck? Now, keep in mind, we have four people in the car, but wow, that it really does feel like you're riding a roller coaster. That's what everybody says. It's like you get in it, it feels like you're doing a roller coaster ride. That's exactly what it feels like. It really puts you back in the seat. And it's so weird because it doesn't shift. I mean, it's, you know, it's just a, a consistent pull all the way through. All right, we'll do a slow speed pull. We'll see if that does anything for me. <laughs> what the <f> <laughs> Okay, so now I figured out how you do it. Yeah. The car completely hooks. Uh, absolutely no wheel spin. That oh man so pretty much how it works is it's based off of your th your throttle application i mean you stomp on it you're going i kind of eased into it when i did the first one i'm used to my car i have to ease into the power on that otherwise i'm just spinning but this thing you know you just step on it and you're gone and that's an incredibly weird feeling that i've it's really hard to explain you have to go out and drive one for yourself or ride in one and it's it's weird all right, we got a nice opportunity on a nice straight road. And so let's take advantage of this zero to 60 again. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? This is stupid. It's so awesome. I love it. <laughs> oh, I want one. Oh man, that's incredible. It's 
so weird. It doesn't shift. You just keep going and like you expect there to be some kind of break in the power band to, you know, shift and then regain power, but it just doesn't happen. You're just consistently pulling at an incredibly high rate of speed. I believe before I did this review, one couple things I did learn about it, uh, the G's this thing can pull, I saw 1.12. Now that's 0.02 tenths slower than a Porsche 918 Spider. I mean, we're talking cars that cost in the millions of dollars. And this one, I believe this one pretty much fully optioned out is give or take in the 150 range. But I believe these start closer to 100,000. Don't quote me on that. But I mean, for something a little bit over $100,000 competing with stuff that's close to a million dollars, that's absolutely crazy and completely mind blowing. I mean, it's just, it's, it's incredible what Tesla's doing. I am totally on board with the Tesla bandwagon now. Um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's leaving me speechless, it really is. So another really cool thing about owning a Tesla is the fact that you can go as fast as you want and nobody can hear you and you're not making a scene. You're just kind of, you know, in this case, we're a, a blue car, so you're just a blue streak of light just flying past. But you never make a, a scene and so people really probably wouldn't complain about this car driving fast down the road. Um, obviously, the car can go extremely fast in a straight line. So now I'm kind of on these little tight uh, curvy road a tight curvy road uh, and so we're gonna see up here how well this thing holds the road I mean obviously the all-wheel drive system Tesla knows exactly what they're doing obviously you can hook from a dead stop dead stop so let's take this one with just a little bit of speed and see how well the body roll is not much at all especially being 5,000 pounds it masks the weight so well and then you accelerate out of the corner absolutely no problem I mean, it's instant torque instant horsepower whatever you want it's on demand i mean the brakes are extremely good the throttle response is you know second to none you really can't get any better throttle response than an electric car i mean it's it's really it's a combination of some kind of daily driver roller coaster sports car grocery getter it's everything all in one package and it's just tesla has really done a good job and it's going to be interesting in these next couple years whatever what every other car manufacturer is going to do to try to one-up tesla but man they have their work cut out for them this is this is a good package going into another corner with a little bit of speed and you know it's really really driver confidence inspiring i suppose it really just it grips the, it grips the road so well i mean having all-wheel drive on a car it's so good for taking these corners with some speed and it's just like it's just a, a breeze it really is it's so easy to drive and it's just incredible it really is a lot of people buy these for their daily drivers and you know as a daily driver it's a true experience driving this car you know to and from work or wherever you're going it's you know incredibly comfortable i could see why you'd buy this as a daily driver it's really really nice but um it, you know you hop in your car you go to work and you're just like oh cool i'm doing something amazing today it's not just like a boring oh let her, better hop in my car go to work type of thing it's like i would i would wake up in the morning and want to go to work all right guys well unfortunately that's all i have time for today you know truly amazing experience i really want to thank the owner for letting me use his car today and I mean, like I said, this was completely unexpected. I just got a, a text one day. It said, hey, you want to review a Tesla? And I was like, hell yeah. So I'm, I'm blown away. I really don't know what to say about this car. It was absolutely amazing. It definitely exceeded my expectations. I knew it would be good. But I mean, it's just the way that everything is in this car. It's truly amazing. And that acceleration, man, that's easily the fastest car I've ever driven and ever been in for that matter. Um, so now if anybody ever asked me, hey, what's the fastest car you've ever driven? It's it's a Tesla, it's it's electric. It's <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm speechless. I literally am speechless because of this car. Um, it does everything so well and it's just amazing what you can get in this package. So thank you guys for watching this video. As always, thanks for stopping by, subscribe. Have a great day. Damn technology. Where, where would be a good place to like floor it? Is that a GTR? Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, oh yeah, I should probably go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Mobar.